Let's go ahead and start on our backs today. So legs are going to be out long. Just kind of a natural, relaxed position. <laughs> and then let's go right hand over our heart, left hand on our belly. Feet can fall out to the side, whatever. Don't need to pay attention to that. I'm just finding the natural cadence of our breath. Kind of settling into things. Maybe we're just waking up. Maybe we've been up for a little bit. Just finding our breath, checking in. Noticing where we're carrying tension this morning. Maybe it's in the shoulders or relaxing down the back. Maybe it's in your face and brows clenched. Hips. And we're just kind of the natural cadence of our breath. First thing we're going to do is just send some gratitude out for the ability to do this, for the ability to breathe, for the ability to move. And just being stoked on that. First thing first. And start to breathe only through your nose, so close your lips. Slow our breath down. Letting our exhale kind of just fall out. And we want to see our, or feel our left hand raise. So we want to feel our belly move while we're breathing primarily. So as you inhale, try to fill up from kind of hips up, if that makes sense, like you're filling a, a big jar full of water. You want to fill up the torso in that same manner, from the bottom up. We're going to do some breathing together. And we're going to go three second inhale, three second exhale, four seconds, five seconds. But no pause, so we're just going to do a two part breath today. Inhale through the nose, three seconds. Exhale. Elongate it, four second inhale. Exhale. Five seconds. Exhale. Five seconds, one more time, inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and uh, release your palms to the ground. Get your heels in close to your booty. This casual right here is gonna start off with some windshield wipers, so you're just gonna send your knees off to one side at a time. Nice and casual, especially if you kind of have a tender low back, but we're just trying to get a little bit of movement here going. And as we're making our way through, being, we're trying to be mindful of our breath, kind of how we started to where you weren't necessarily noted, you weren't counting the cadence, but you were just mindful of your breath and trying to slow it down. That's how we kind of want to move today. Go long with your left leg, toes up, interlace your palms, wrap them around your right shin, and then pull your right shin into your right armpit. It's a little half when relieving pose here. And for me, I can get a little bit more of the stretch when I pull in and out a little bit. That's just kind of how my hip, hips are built. So kind of just feel around right here. We want to use our upper body strength. Toes on our left side are active, so they're facing the ceiling. Go ahead and release. Right leg goes long. Same thing, we're just going to go on the other side. So wrap your, your interlace your palms around your left shin. Once again, using our upper body strength, pull in that left knee and close to that left armpit. Go in and wide if that feels better than in and tight. Everyone's hips are a little bit different, so work with what you got. Go ahead and go along with your left leg. Actually, excuse me, go plant your left foot on the ground. We're gonna go ahead and cross our right ankle over our left knee. If, it feel, if this is all good, then stay here. But we're going to go ahead and interlace our fingers around our left shin and then pull 
pull our left shin close to our face. We want to be active through our feet, so toes are up. The right knee is fighting to get away from your face, so you want to open up through that right side actively while you're pulling through that left side. So a little contrast. And just breathe. Spine is relaxed on the ground. That nice slow cadence with our inhale and exhale if we can. We want to breathe primarily through our nose. Don't slingshot your leg down, but gently release your left foot to the ground and then switch. Right heel planted, a left ankle over a right knee, and release your palms around your right thigh. Active through our feet here, so toes are up. Left knee going away from your face, so opening up through that left side, pulling through your right side. Both feet should come to the ground. And let's go ahead and come up to a seated position. Alrighty, so legs are gonna be directly out in front of you. And then let's go, the left foot comes in to your right thigh right here, but this right foot is still out front. Both hands up overhead, biceps frame the ears, fold over your right side, so reach Put your toes on your right side with both palms if that's available this morning. I'm going to use our breath here to get a little bit deeper into these stretches, kind of what we've been doing for you regulars. So we're going to inhale, back off the stretch a little bit, and then we're going to exhale and fold into it a little bit more. So inhale, back off just a tad bit. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper into the stretch. Inhale, we slightly back off. Exhale, fold. Inhale, back up. Exhale, fold. And then just pause here, take a couple of rounds of breath. On our left knee, reaching towards the ground, so opening up through that side a little bit. Go ahead and come back up. Right leg is still gonna stay long. Cross that left foot over your right leg, and then we're gonna twist to the left side here. It's a little Hollywood pose. Left hand's planted, we wanna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna use our inhale, exhale here as well. So we're gonna inhale, and we're gonna sit up nice and tall, so we'll look for light. And we're gonna exhale, and we'll look for rotation. And if it feels okay, the main way to get a little bit more out of the rotation is just keep looking over your left shoulder as far as you can. So if that feels okay, on your neck. So inhale, we'll sit up tall. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. Inhale, sit up tall, just looking for that millimeter more. Exhale, rotate. One more time, inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, rotate, look over that left shoulder. Breathe. Slowly undo, plant both hands behind you. Scoot your right heel in close to your booty and you can adjust the intensity of your stretch by how close your heel is to your booty. So this is just a figure four, we just did this on the back, so now we're sitting up nice and tall. And your hands are planted for some leverage. Look for that proper posture, so space between each vertebrae. And just breathe. Active through our feet here, so left toes are up, reaching our left knee away from our face, sitting up nice and tall. Finding that even cadence, letting our body know it's okay to relax a little bit. And that's how we get that little bit more range of motion, we'll get that little bit more flexibility. Go ahead and release. We'll go left leg is going to come out long. Your right foot comes to meet the kind of the inside of your left thigh. Uh, hands up overhead, biceps frame the ear, fold over 
our left foot reaching for our toes here. No worries if you're not quite there. Find your breath. And we're gonna do that same thing. So we'll inhale, we'll back off, we'll exhale, we'll get a little bit deeper into the stretch. Inhale, slightly backing off. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come back, just attack. Exhale, fold. Inhale, back off. Fold as you exhale. Pause. Come back up. Left leg's gonna stay long, right foot crosses over, right hand's planted. We're looking over our right shoulder here, it's a little hot glue. We're gonna do the same exact thing. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, rotate, so we're looking over our right shoulder as long as it feels okay on your neck. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, rotate. Both hands planted. Scoot your left foot in. Little figure four. Adjust this foot placement to adjust the difficulty for the intensity, right away to frame that. Some of the things a little bit down on this, uh, this prime one and one pivot. Sit up nice and tall. Go ahead and release and we'll come to all fours, hands and knees. Let's go ahead and get it going, y'all, with a little bit of juicing it up. So we got our hip rotations, hip circles, so send it out big. Maybe you send it out narrow. Whatever you feel like doing, a little freeform movement for you and your body this morning. Make sure to get all directions going. So you're switching up a direction every rotation. You're just kind of working in, greasing the groove. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Three, two, one. Go ahead and reset. Come back to all fours. Wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Let's get it going with a little bit of cat cow. So we're gonna floss the spine a little bit. So on our cow, if anyone you can shut that door, babe. On our cow, we're gonna bend at the elbows and look upwards, dip your chest down. On our cat, we're gonna do the opposite. All 10 fingers are spread out, we're rounding and doming our spine, tucking your chin to your chest like this. And we're gonna work our, our breath with this. So we're gonna inhale, look up, bend at the elbows, hit our cow. Exhale, reverse, we're hitting our cat, rounding and doming your spine, tuck your chin to your chest, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, look up, bend at the elbows, hit your cow. Shoulders down and back here. Exhale, cat, round and dome your spine. Inhale, look up for your cow. Exhale, cat. When you get better at this, when it starts to become more natural, inhale, look up, cap. Try to start the spinal articulation from your tailbone. Exhale, cap. One more time. Inhale, bend at the elbows, look upwards, cow. Exhale, cat. All ten fingers are, are crossed down, round and dome your spine, spread your shoulder blades. And then go ahead and reset. I'm going to turn sideways here. You might want to as well. We're going to go wide with our knees. Feet are going to be together. We're going to take a little frog stretch. So I'm going to target the inside of our thigh right here. So um, actually, let's go ahead and come down to your forearms if that feels OK. And we're just going to breathe right here. We're not going to do anything super crazy. 
if you'd like to, if you'd like to make this more active, you can sh shift your weight forwards and backwards. I kind of like to do this on the, on this stretch just to kind of get the, just stretch out, yeah, just, just because. Uh, the wider you go with your knees, the more intense this stretch will be, so keep that in mind. And this is kind of like a juice it up for the inner, inner hip area. Kind of feel everything. We don't spend a lot of time stretching the, like the inside of our thigh, the adductors. Come back up to your palms, and then close your knees up like a book, just be careful. Knees in tight, feet in tight, sink your hips backwards, a little child's pose here. Forehead to knee, crawl your fingers as tall as you can so you really reach and feel that stretch on your lats. Every exhale, try to sink into our hip crease just a little bit, so using that exhale once again here to get a little bit more out of the stretch, right out of the posture. Come back up to all fours. Hip forward, come down to the ground. Press up for a cobra. Look up if that feels okay. Come to your forearms if you need um, the modification. Go ahead and slowly release back to the ground. Tuck your toes, turn your hips up high. Downward facing dog. And then just pedal it on out as we normally do. Get into your calf a little bit here. Maybe the, your feet a little bit hammy. Just pedal it on out. Let me bend at the knees because hammies are a little tight like myself. Now slowly tippy toe forward to meet our hands in a forward fold. Ragdoll, let your head hang heavy once you've found the fold. Nod your head yet. Shake your head out, no. One vertebrae at a time, and slowly come to rise. Inhale. Hands come up overhead, drop them to heart center. Let's go ahead and hit our mountain pose. So feet are about shoulder width apart, palms face away. I'm gonna actively stand, shoulders down and back, big toe, pinky toe, heel, glue down to the ground, spread the floor out. I should turn your glutes on. Kneecaps rise because our quads are activated. Send it nice and strong, rooted down firmly. <sighs> Keeping that root, hands to the heart center. And then make a little uh, make a little steeple gripple or pistol grip or whatever this is called. And then we go up overhead. Half moon pose, so we're gonna go ahead and send it to our right side, rooted down, so we're still active like we just worked through our, our mountain pose. Crunching through our right side. Opening up, heart is facing the ceiling. Send it over to your left side. Rooted down, same thing, chest towards the ceiling, active through our legs. And just go ahead and go back and forth on your own right here. Interlace your hands, palms towards the ceiling. And then really reach those palms up tall. Nice little good morning stretch. Our right foot's gonna be forward. Soft bend in this right knee. Booty backwards. Flat back first. And then we'll fold over with a little standing hamstring stretch. Noticing what happened to your breath as we started moving. By that steady cadence. Go ahead and come back up and then we'll switch sides. Kickstand, left foot forward, toes up, soft bend in the knee, booty back, so we'll practice hinging with our flat back. And then we'll fold over, surrendering to the fold, let gravity pull ourselves down here. And just finding your breath. And I'm still letting that, even though I'm not guiding you per se, still letting that exhale get you a little bit deeper into the stretch. I just want you guys to practice that for when you're stretching at your house. Go ahead and come back 
back up. Root down strongly through your left foot. We'll go ahead and grab our right foot. Bring your heel to your booty. Knees stay together. So we want our pelvis to come forward a little bit so we really feel the actual stretch on the quad. So make sure your booty squeeze just a little bit. Left hand's gonna go up overhead. Slowly tilt forward. We're gonna kick our foot into our hand right here to turn it into a standing bow. Look upwards and you'll feel a little, a small little back bend. A little bit of balance here, a little bit of hamstring action. Breathe. Slowly release. Don't slingshot, but slowly let that right foot fall to the ground. Right foot is rooted down. Grab your left foot. Standing quad stretch. So our pelvis is tilted forward a little bit by squeezing our booty. I'm feeling that stretch right here. Quad, hip flexor. Our right hand going up overhead. Slowly going to tilt forward, fingertips facing the wall in front of you. Kick your foot into your hand, look up for a small back bend. Breathe, being calm under pressure. Slowly reverse your steps. Hand comes to your side and we release. Walk to the back of your mat. Hands out, or excuse me, arms out to a T, soft bend your knees, booty backwards, flat back forward pull, and then we'll release. Walk your hands forwards to the top of your mat. Drop down to your knees, shift your hips backwards, child's pose. Come back up, smooth transition into our cobra, we'll look up. Shoulders down and back, glutes are relaxed right here. Shift back to all fours, and then we'll come to a comfortable seated position. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be the morning mobility for this uh, beautiful Aloha Friday. Thank you guys for coming on in and stretching with me. Something I want to leave you guys with, just always remember, <laughs> nice, perfect time for the, for the grocery. Remember, you're in charge of your peace, you're in charge of your happiness, you're in charge of your attitude, and don't let anything take that power away from you. I do have a quote for you guys today. Uh, I have it over here by Pinto. Quote of the day, I've been all over the world and I've never seen a statue of a critic. Alrighty guys, thanks for coming on in. Savage Sunday, we're getting after it, so I'll see you guys in for that. But other than that, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, same bat time, same bat place. And uh, yeah, say bye, babe. Bye. Pinto says goodbye as well. <laughs> see you guys, have a great Friday, great weekend.